Uh, Skinner has a very ingenious way of making a system of highly compulsive organizations seem as though it were a very humane one. This is his great and original contribution. The old-fashioned uh, mechanical collectives, the mega machines, as I call them, uh, were brutal. They used punishment as a way of enforcing conformity. Skinner and the psychological school that he represents have found a much better system than punishment. Uh, they first tried it out on animals, and now they're applying it to human beings. Reward them. Make them do exactly what you want uh, them to do without the whip, but with some form, some form of sugar-coated drug or candy, which will make them think that they're actually enjoying every moment of it. This is the most dangerous of all systems of compulsion. That's why I regard uh, Skinner's Walden II as another name for hell. And it would be a worse hell because we wouldn't realize we were there. We would imagine that we we're still in heaven. Uh, most of the reactions that have taken place in art, including those that uh, come under the head of the, the beatniks and the hippies, have, uh, have some underlying sense uh, in the reaction itself. But the remedy is part of the disease. Uh, the remedy, in fact, makes it easier for the institutions that now have their hold upon us to uh, be even more compulsive and even more effective than ever before. If we don't care, if we drop out, if we lose ourselves in insane fantasy of some kind, whether a natural fantasy of the neurotic or the chemically induced fantasy of someone who takes uh, drugs, we lose our possibility of restoring our own autonomy, of taking charge of our life, because this requires greater energy, greater effort, than that which uh, is required to live through the daily life of a machine worker. We have to become fully, fully uh, activated human beings, every part of us, tremendously alive and uh, ready to take charge. And this can't be done by people who are uh, in escape, people who are in a, who form the habit of total rejection. We must know what we want, not just what we don't want.